Hi guys, Rod Torres here, and today I'm going to show you a really great floral text effect. Um, I, I think this is the first one on YouTube. You only need to download a font and a brush. Okay, and I'll probably do a video on how to install both of them and how to get them in the link bar. Okay, to start off with, you want to go File, New, and let's make Width 700, Height 600. I'll make this make 500. Okay. And then choose colours for the background. I'm gonna choose dark blue and then light blue. So and then get the gradient and hold shift, drag down. Now obviously you can have whatever colours you want or whatever background, but I just wanted this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna click on the text tool, then make sure your um, font's white. That's important. And then the font I've downloaded is plastic peel, which is a very bold kind of effect. Then I'm gonna type in something. Okay, let's try that. Hmm? No, that's alright. And then let me just center it. If you want to wanna center it, click on the layout and click Control A. And then it's this one and this one. So it's centered it exactly. Control D, D select. Okay, from there you're gonna duplicate the layer by clicking right click, duplicate layer, um, and just name it whatever your thing is, and we name it black, which is important. Okay, and then um, once you've got that, go to text tool and change it to black because you really need this, and it creates a really good text effect. So the white one, which is below it, just drag up between the black one. Okay, with that, click on the arrow tool, or this little thing, and then with any keyboard, click down. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Make sure you're holding the black, world tutorials black. Then go down, and you click effect like this, which is quite cool. Okay, from there, you want to make a new layer, and you want to knit, and that's just going to be paint layer, um, brush layer. So get brushes, and I've done these brushes. So yeah, let's try some of these brushes out. Ain't tried a lot of them. Okay, let's make this brushes black and um make this a bit smaller. Okay. Just gonna make them black like that one. Don't worry about if it's neat or not. Then let's try something like that. Might need to click a couple of times, as it might not as be as bright. Then just something roughly around there. Okay, once that's done, on the Royal Tutorials, layer, not the black one, click Control and click on the fumble. And know what you're going to do? You're going to click this one of these two. Let's choose this one. You're going to right click and select the inverse and then hit delete on your keyboard. So also, oh and then go back to layer one. Hit the loot on your keyboard, and the rest of it will disappear. Click Control D, and it'll go away. So you've got something a bit like this. Okay, next thing you're gonna do: click on the world tutorials. Go right click, blend in options. We have to add some add some options onto this. Okay, let's add a drop shadow. Um, let's change. Oh, I think I need to change this to, to, to eight. Yep, yeah, that's alright. Okay, and then you want a inner shadow. Let's change it to oh, make this appear around thirteen. Let's make a stroke. Let's make it white. And let's make it. Size three and the plus hundred percent. Yeah, that was alright. Then you can change the text color if you want. Let's say she done it wrong. Let's change the color to what color? Let's have it a white, blue. Hmm. Yeah, let's change it to that colour. Ok, 
Okay, then change it, but I'll change it so it should look a bit like this. Now the next bit is um quite difficult. Now you want to make a new layer, and with the font and um, the brushes that I've downloaded for you, which you've downloaded, so I think it's one of these. Yep. Size it down to however you want, but make sure it's in the corner. So I'm gonna size it down, make it a bit bigger. Don't worry, you guys. This one should be a bit neat. So that one, don't matter. And then make a new layer and do it um, around the same place. No, basically just delete that. Sorry, and then duplicate the layer. And with that layer selected, click Control, hit that, and then click Edit free transform rotate and then I think you can just drag it to the top where's meant to go where you want it to go click control D so it should look a bit like this don't worry drag it below both of them both layers it looks a bit like this now with these two layers when I'm merging down change opacity you can't see a lot. Now you have to trust trust me on this one, but you want to create a print scan preview. Print scan, Control V. Look a bit like this. Okay, I might need to size it down. So yeah, edit, transform, um, scale. Put that on it. Make sure it just just about fits your page. This one you're going to really have to trust me on. But it comes out with such a good outcome. I recommend that you do it. So yeah. Then I'll lock it. And just drag it. Okay, from there. It should look a bit like this at the moment. Then you want to go filter. Um, blur. Motion blur. Oopsie, wrong one. Um, filter, blur, motion blur, and then just minus 45 angle and 999 pixels thing, and just drag it down a bit, and then control T to make it a bit bigger, until you get something a bit like this, and then change the opacity, so you can see it, quite a bit, so like that. And they have a really, really cool text effect. Then you can change your colors or whatever. I don't really mind. But there you have it. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Royal Tutorials.